。二零二四年十月十二日星期六，由社区领袖林志思发起，华裔民主党协进会反对 K 提案组织日落区 Parkside 街坊会和 t e r r y v i l l e 商会、劣质文区 Greater Gary 商会等旧金山湾区多个组织支持，号召居民投票反对 K 提案的第八次大型集会活动在旧金山市花园角举行。围绕旧金山市将永久性关闭日落区海滨公路关闭、永久无车化的 K 提案。旧金山社区民众超千人再次聚集，提出抗议，共同为西区海傍公路存亡发出呐喊。活动由旧金山社区大学校董候选人雷千红主持 ，KTSF 二六台、星岛日报、世界日报、硅谷时报等多家主流媒体的记者现场采访与报道。出席及发言嘉宾包括发起人、社区领袖林志思、旧金山市市长候选人麦法恩。旧金山中华总会馆资深商董李超宗，资深商董李殿邦，第七区是参事候选人 Mike b o s h e t t o 旧金山市消防队队长 Sherman Tillman， 旧金山退休警长 Richard c o r b i l l 华裔民主党协进会会长朝霞，日落区 Travel 街商会会长 Albert Joe 等，以及前政府官员、当地居民、学生家长等超千人现场参与。发起人、社区领袖林志思在致辞中指出，海傍公路不仅仅是一条道路，它是西区居民赖以通行的重要纽带。关闭它将严重影响我们生活的便利性和社区的连接性。他进一步强调，此次集会不仅是为了海傍公路的未来，也是为了保护整个社区的共同利益。旧金山。山市市长候选人麦法恩也在演讲中表明了自己反对 K 提案的坚定立场。他指出，我们不能让城市规划的决策忽视居民的实际需求和生活方式。海放公路对西区和全市居民至关重要，保护这条路是我的竞选承诺之一。集会期间，众多嘉宾们纷纷发表了关于 K 提案对当地居民日常生活、通勤和城市发展可能带来的重大负面影响的演讲，呼吁市民团结一致。积极投票反对该提案，参与者们手持标语、高呼口号，表达了对 K 提案的不满与反对。特别一提的是，在花园角集会后，反对 K 提案集结人士分两条路线巡游，麦法恩以积极行动支持反对 K 提案。他在社区领袖林志思的陪同。及千余名支持者的簇拥下，举行了第十二次巡游华府的活动，并前往加州美国华侨的最高机构驻美中华总会馆进行拜访。在拜访过程中，麦法恩向中华总会馆主席团及商董们介绍了他的竞选理念，强调了他致力于为旧金山的未来发展贡献力量的决心。尤其在保障公共设施和服务方面，他的亲切交流和坦诚态度赢得了总会馆领导人的一致认可与支持。One of the most iconic neighborhoods of San Francisco, Portsmouth Square, to support two amazing causes that we need to fight for on the ballot in November. One, obviously, supporting No One K.、Um, we need to make sure that is defeated at the ballot. Then also, super honored to have so much support here with me today, certainly within our Asian community and Chinese community in Chinatown. We had a great walk through Chinatown.、Um, we had a great amount of support here. Super excited. We're going to be excited about the next few weeks here in San Francisco. November 5th、um, is election day. People have their ballots in the mail. Please go out and vote. Vote Mark Farrell number one. Let's make a difference for San Francisco. Let's change San Francisco for the better. Move forward in a different direction and turn the page on the last six years of failed leadership. I'm here because what were the protests against the proposed? Proposition K, K is a dangerous, very dangerous for all residents, not only for the Sunset District, Richmond District, but every driver in San Francisco. We have enough parks all over the city. We don't need another park at the Great Highway. With the Great Highway shut down, it's so dangerous because you have a、um, a Veterans Hospital on the corner of Clement and Forty Second Avenue. Then we travel from Sunset. To the region, it's dangerous because people get emergency calls. It's much delay in, in, in terms of、uh, in, in timing for the medical services. Furthermore, on the weekend you already have shutdowns between the two days, Saturday and Sunday. You don't need seven days shutting down the Great Highway. Let's keep it open, please. So we're asking everybody, whether you're voters or non-voters, you've got to stop. The proposition K. Vote no, and please join us at the parade. Thank you again. I'm here to show support for the No on K campaign.、Uh, support the neighbors who feel alienated、uh, and without a voice due to the process of Prop K being on the ballot.
Uh, the Great Highway is a travel corridor that is very important to the west side. 18,000 people use it a day. Many of these people, working class, small business owners, seniors, uh, we need to keep this vital uh, travel corridor open for people during the week so the fest west side can stay vibrant, can stay easily accessible. Uh, when at a time where the city is trying to recover, the last thing we need to do is make it harder for people to move in, within, and into the city. Uh, and I believe that doing this is just simply the wrong thing we should be doing right now. We have a number of crises that we need to address. We have an $800 million deficit. The last thing we need to be doing is spending money on a new park at a place in the city where we have more open space than any other place in the city. So, you know, this we're in Chinatown today because a lot of people here understand that small businesses, working class people, large families with seniors need the convenience of travel, need to be able to move around in their cars. So we're very proud to be standing here in Chinatown today to be in solidarity with the Chinese community, the Asian community throughout San Francisco, working class people throughout San Francisco, and those that need their cars to make it easy. Those who can't afford to have 20 minutes on their bikes, you know, to move to and fro, 20 minutes additional, you know, on, on transit, even if it's three minutes, which, which the proponents say that that's the furthest inconvenience this will, this will cause, which I don't think is true. Well, we should care about three minutes for these groups of people. These are people that we should cherish and we should support and make their lives easier to live in San Francisco. Thank you. I'm here today representing our merchants out on Terravel and many merchants in the Sunset District is that we're for no on K to keep the Great Highway open because this proposition puts a few people to value their position over the values of the many. There's many working class people that try to use the Great Highway to get from uh, South Bay, from the Sunset to the Richmond and back and a lot of veterans go up to the Veterans Hospital from the Great Highway. And it is really unfair to shut that down just for the use of a couple of people that want to ride bikes during a weekday. We currently have a compromise on the Great Highway, which is to close on the weekends and leave open on the weekdays to traffic. But our supervisor, Joel Angario, has made a decision to make it either on or off issue and without consulting the entire community. And we find that very unfair. So I today stand for no on K. 今天我们在军事山的中国城发动一个千人的记者会跟游行反对KT案 他将永久关闭西区的海放公路，剥夺了私家车和货车的通行权。这条公路不仅是连接劣质文区、日落区和Daily 依赖车辆进行日常通勤、接送老人和孩子，正如是德顿街对于华埠的重要性一样，海放公路的关闭将对西区的华人社区造成毁灭性打击，迫使许多家庭不得不搬离西区，改变该地区的人口结构。这不